How cool of a name tag is this? All right, we are going to be building one of these, and this is a Lego EV3, Lego EV3 robot, all right? And we're gonna be using this to complete missions on a first Lego League board. And uh, we're gonna build this. What's really cool about this robot is when we put attachments on it later on, on the front and on the front and on the top, it has a universal mounting uh, system that we're gonna use to mount all of our attachments. So all of our attachments can be built the same. They go on in a snap and off in a snap. It's really cool. Uh, let's build it. First thing we need to know is what the parts are called, okay? This thing, I don't know what it's called. Technically, it's a five by seven uh, square beam. I'm gonna call it a picture frame. This guy, it's a ladder, a, la a ladder. This is a three by five L beam, a J beam, a gear. This guy, this guy's a large motor, and this is a medium motor. I know, I don't know why they just call them large and small, because I don't, I don't know. This, with the little flashlight thing, it's not a flashlight, it's a light sensor. These are beams, okay, beams. Um, these are axles. We measure axles with beams. So, this is a number, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight axle because it takes up eight holes in a beam. This tiny little guy is a number three because it takes up three holes in the axle. This is a llama. Don't know what this is. This little orange or yellow thing is a bushing and plenty of pegs. We have axle-ended pegs, our red axle-ended pegs. They're too long, they're used to connect two beams. We have our black regular standard pegs, our blue three pegs, our blue axle-ended pegs, all right? And I think that's all we're gonna be using. First thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna take our two, we have two large motors, okay? And we're gonna take our ladder, or flip these over. We're gonna take our ladder, and we're gonna set it in here, just like this. There's, there's slots right there. Okay, in each large motor, we're gonna set it in there so it becomes part of these large motors. And then we're gonna take four of these red axle, or red pegs, all right, and we're gonna shove them in, oops. We're gonna shove them in the holes on the outside of the motors to get the ladder to stay there. All right, just like this, cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these uh, kind of angled beams um, to the motors right here. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this number three axle and we're gonna put it through the end of the beam just like this. So it's half of it sticks out on each side. And then I'm gonna take this number three blue peg and stick it in there like that and put that in like that and it's not going anywhere. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. Now we're gonna start attaching to where the wheels go, and I'm gonna take one of these black pegs, and I'm gonna stick it right there, three in from where it starts to bend, and I'm gonna stick one of these blue pegs in, just like that, so it sticks through, 
on the other two, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This just mirrors. It's just a mirror down the center. I like symmetry. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, three by five L beams, and I'm going to put the three on the top just like that, and you can see how the holes line up for the wheels pretty good. All right, I'm going to do it on the other side. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, before we go any farther, what I want to do is I'm going to stick these in here before it gets too hard to put them in. So I'm going to kind of bend it a little bit and shove it in there. Okay. Now, notice one thing that I'm doing is there's a butt on this end of, on one end of the axle. Okay. So it won't go through uh, the axle hole. So I'm going to push that all the way to where it's buddied up against there. It should look just like that. And again, I'm gonna do it to the other side. And now I've got my two axles sticking out. All right. Um, cool. Okay, now we're gonna start building our framework for our EV3 brick and our, our medium motor. That's this, this guy. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna use these funky little uh, U-shaped pieces. All right, they have an axle on one part and a peg hole on another part. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're going to grab a picture frame like this okay and we are going to take a peg that looks like this it's got uh, it's blue it has a uh, axle looking thing on one side axle with the plus and a uh, peg on the other and I'm gonna put the axle in the axle part of this and then I'm going to take that axle part and I'm going to put it in a bottom corner of the picture frame so that two holes line up just like this and again I'm going to do the same thing on the other side okay now that I have that built what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two holes with these two pegs and these two holes with these two pegs if I again I might have to stretch it out a little bit to get it in there uh, if it comes apart a little bit, just their Legos. It's the beauty about Legos, you can always put it back together. Okay, so we're gonna have something that looks like this on the front. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another picture frame and we're going to attach it right here just like this. And in order to do that, we're just gonna hold it here. Okay, and we're gonna take blue pegs and stick them in the four center the four center holes. And whenever we're done with that, we're gonna find a number five, a number five beam, okay? Just like this, okay? And we're gonna stick them centered on here. So the, the we have a hole, a peg, hole, peg. So it'll look like this on the front. Okay, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna start working on the back of the robot. We're gonna be connecting something here. We're gonna build it and then connect it. I'm gonna set this to the side for now, and I'm going to grab two of these guys. They're black uh, three, modified three beam. Okay, it's got two axle ports and one peg port. This is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take axles and put them in the, the axle pegs, the blue axle pegs, put them in the axle port. And then I'm going to take a black two peg and I'm going to put it in here so it looks like this and make another one. Alright, now I'm going to get some, some llamas. All right, 
Um, and I'm going to position the llamas so they are facing each other like this, upside down facing each other. And then I'm going to put these guys on top and shove them in to the top of the llamas so they're like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to take two of the 3x5L beams and I'm going to put them like this. So we have three pegs sticking out like that and this 3x5 sticking out like that and do the same thing to the other side so it should look like this and then I'm going to take a 2x4. This is a new piece, a 2x4 uh, L. L, 2x4. 2 by four, top one's an axle, and then I'm going to flip it upside down, and I'm gonna attach it just like this. Okay, it's gonna be like this, oops. It's gonna be like this, so in order to do that, I'm going to use three length blue pegs, and stick it One. upside down just like that okay so we have we have this uh, and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take another number three blue axle and I'm gonna stick it on the bottom here and then I'm gonna grab one of these this is called a ball bearing this is what's gonna keep the back of the robot up and slide along the ground I'm going to put it just like that underneath the the red or your there's might be a different color black or gray or blue or yellow there's all kinds of colors right just like that then I'm gonna grab some pieces that look like this okay it's a two beam all right one is a peg hole and one is an axle hole um, under two different colors again there's plenty of colors all right and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a number three axle through the other hole of the ball bearing just like that and then take my two beam and I'm going to put it vertical like this and I'm gonna line that hole up just like that and I'm gonna take this is a number five axle you can use a number three axle I wouldn't use more than a number five axle alright and I'm going to put it through the whole thing and I'm gonna let it stick out a little bit because it's gonna stick out a little bit all right, and now I'm ready to put my other half on. I'm just gonna slide this on just like that. And then I've got one more piece to put on and that's my number two beam, half axle, half peg. I'm gonna slide it over the axle and onto the peg. I'm gonna make sure my axle is centered. Everything's pushed together well. Okay, now I'm ready to put it on the robot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to line it up right underneath the back motors, okay, the back of the, the large motors, and I'm going to push it in just like this, and it'll look like a, a stand off the back of the robot. Okay, now we're going to go back to the front of the robot, and I'm going to grab some 3x5 L beams and um, we're going to put them on the axles just like this to help support our wheels. In order to do that we need some black pegs and I'm going to put a black peg into this axle just like that above the axle into the L beam above the axle and below the axle and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide the L beam so the top hole of the L-beam is going to go in the peg. The, the second hole down will go over the axle, and the bottom one will go into a peg as well. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Cool. Just like that. And now it kind of stands up a little bit better there because it's more even on the bottom. Okay, now we're going to place our first medium motor and in order to do that we need a wire. 
Your kit should come with wires. Uh, if you have a kit, I've just got a bunch of uh, boxes with Legos in them. But um, if you have a kit, it should come with wires. So pick a short one, the shortest one you can find. And we're gonna put the wire in the, in the motor first, just like that. And then we are going to fish the wire through, through the front, through the picture frames right there, okay? and then back the robot and we're going to put our motor in if we're holding it like this it should be towards us on its side all the way back until the first the first hole and it should sit in there pretty tight okay well i mean it's not gonna be tight now but when it'll be it'll be very very close there and it will actually be uh, a little bit uh, a little bit slanted it's not gonna be perfect uh, but once we put the pegs in it will be so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four red uh, pegs that look like this they have a little axle place on top and we're gonna stick them into the now if you notice this this medium motor has holes in it four pegs we're gonna line them up with these holes right here and we're gonna stick them in to hold it in place two on the top just like this okay and two on the bottom perfect okay now we're going to take some number nine beams and we're going to stick them on the front of the robot just like that all right now here's what we're going to do before we stick them on, we're gonna look at the front of the robot here and we're gonna say that a blue three peg is gonna go in the top right and a blue three peg is gonna go in the bottom left. All right. A black is gonna go in the other two corners. A black two. So two will be longer sticking out and two will be shorter. And then we're gonna stick the top hole of the nine peg or the nine beam in the top peg just like this. So we should have kind of like fang, fang looking things coming down. Okay, now I'm gonna grab two light sensors, all right? And we're gonna put them on the front just like this. And uh, you guessed it, we're gonna use number three blue pegs. So I'm gonna stick the number three blue pegs in one right below the other one there just like this. And then I'm gonna take the light sensor and I'm gonna face it down towards the ground. It's gonna go down towards the ground just like this. And I'm going to slide it on the two pegs all the way against the beam, just like this, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. On the other side, it's a little bit different. You don't have a blue peg to go off of, but it's four up from the bottom and two up from the bottom and the light sensor slides on like that and they'll be pretty tight up against uh, the beam here okay there'll be very very little space right there uh, for you to go off of all right uh, they're tight they're nice okay I like it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some number seven beams and we're gonna go across the front of the the, the robot just like this. Now what this does is it provides structure, it provides strength, it provides something for the robot to uh, be able to push off of. And I'm missing a beam. Okay, so and what this does is it provides structure and it provides strength in the front of the robot and it's not all wobbly, all right? One more thing on the front of the robot. We're gonna take black pegs and we're gonna stick them on the outsides of the number seven beams that we just put on there. And then I'm gonna grab the long white beams, two of them. And I'm going to stick them on the front 
We are finally ready to put on our EV3 brick and what we're going to do for that is on the back of the robot here, okay, we are going to put a black peg here. Come on. A black peg there on the inside hole on both of the large motors and then I'm going to take a number five beam and I'm going to stick it across those black pegs and notice that this wire is dangling in between in between the motors and and everything okay and then I'm going to grab these funky looking uh, brackets yeah bracket all right and I'm going to put a black peg underneath of it just like that into it uh, and I'm going to put a black peg on top of it so it looks like this I'm gonna make two of them and then I'm gonna put them right beside sticking up in the middle holes of the motor just like this now on the front of the robot we got to do a little bit of work too I'm gonna to take black pegs and I'm gonna stick one here and I'm gonna stick one here and those holes and we're ready to set the EV3 brick on the robot. Okay, setting the EV3 brick on the robot's pretty stinking easy. All we do is we line the back up. Now, I put the back, this is the back, All right? Back's to the left, okay? Screens towards the front of the robot. Okay, we line it up with the, the pegs and we stick it on there just like that. And now we have a robot forming. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this second motor and we're gonna put it right here. So we got a little bit of work to do to get there. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing off uh, and replace these black pegs with um, blue pegs. And just All right, so I got them out. I'm going to replace them with a blue peg. And I'm going to put my number five beam back on, wire still underneath of it. And then I'm going to put two black pegs beside these two blue pegs. And then I'm going to put some L beams, okay, three by five L's on the back just like this. The L goes to the black peg and then the end goes to the black peg. All right, now we have something to build off of in the back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these white beams in the back. We're gonna put two of them just like this, one on each side of the EV3 brick. And we have to make sure that they're not too high. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put them just high enough that they are even with the top of the EV3. So we're gonna line the pegs up just like this. And we can either use, uh, really we can use any type of peg. Uh, I'm gonna use these red um, axle pegs. So it's gonna look like this on both sides of the robot. I'm gonna use those L beams that I just put on there to connect it and then at the bottom see how it's flimsy right there we'll fix that we're going to take a red peg and we're going to put it in that hole too so it keeps it together at the bottom on each side and now that is nice nice and sturdy so the next step is we're going to take the motor okay and we're going to put it on just like this around the beam to the top okay we want to do it on the top of the beam and I'm going to take red pegs and I'm going to shove them in the top just like this it's flimsy if something's flimsy always put another peg in it so it's nice and sturdy just like this all right, and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to look at this area 
right here. Now for this area right here, we need a couple more parts. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find one of these things, okay? And we're gonna stick it inside of the EV3 brick, right, right like that, okay? So it's a gap in between there, and we're gonna fill that gap with a number three beam. So this number three beam has a lot to do, okay? It's gonna be a little tough, but we're gonna manage. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna take this out and keep it right there. Okay, and I'm gonna put blue pegs, blue number three pegs sticking out of the holes attached to the motor right there, okay? And then I'm gonna stick this number three beam on. It's kind of a spacer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the holes of this, I'm gonna attach them to the pegs of this, I'm gonna turn this out Okay, attach them to the pegs of this, and then shove it and turn it back in just like that. Now that motor is ready to go. As I said earlier, there is a cool feature about this robot that designed that um, is unique. It has a universal mounting system. So attachments go on this robot. We put arms and cranes and stuff on it, and we attach stuff to the front of the robot with this motor and this area right here, and we attach stuff to the top of the robot with this motor and this area right here. Now, right now, they look a little bit different, but we're going to make them look the same. So I'm going to take one of these picture frames, and I am going to look at my robot like this, and I'm going to put it over the robot like this. Okay, it kind of overlaps onto the EV3, okay? And I'm going to line the holes up with the outside holes with these holes right here, okay? And I'm going to use red pegs to hold this picture frame to the EV3 motor permanently, all right? And now I'm going to take a black peg, put it in this corner, a blue three peg, put it in this corner, a blue three peg, put it in this corner, and a black peg in this corner, and then I'm going to put another picture frame on top of that, and now I have the same, see the two pegs? I can take a picture frame, all right, and I can put it on top here, just like this, Pull it off really quick, put it on the front here, just like this. Pull it off really quick, and say this was an attachment, okay? Uh, you can switch them out really, really quick on the top and the bottom, so you can build all of your attachments off of a universal uh, picture frame uh, plate, which I will show you how to build uh, shortly. Our robot is almost done. We have a bumper in the front, so what we want to do is we want to put a bumper in the back. And in order to do that, I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of tuck it away for now. And then I'm going to uh, take two llamas, okay? And I'm going to take two number five beams, a llama and a number five beam, and I'm going to stick them like this, both of them. So they stick out, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look right here, and I've got right here and right here on the back of the robot, and I've got holes to go into. I'm gonna go in the top as high as I can go in there, and they'll just barely fit, and they'll stick out just like this. And then I'm gonna take a blue peg on each side and shove it down the back of the number five beam, like this, and like this, take a red number 15 and put, or a white number 15 and put it on the top and the bottom. And now I have a bumper in the back. All we have left to do is put some wheels on it and wires, and then we're ready to go. Before we put the wheels and wires on, though, we need to have some gears, and I'm going to take these tiny little uh, axles, okay? An axle plus sign holds things together, spins things, wheels, gears, stuff like that. And I'm going to put one in each medium motor, okay? Then I'm going to take these number 24 gears, and I'm going to stick them on 
those axles. So one just like that on the front. Okay, it sits nice and flush inside of that little area. And then one on the top just like that. It sits nice and flush in that area. All right, and that's what's gonna drive our attachments. Okay, we're ready for wheels. We're going to look at, uh, well, I'll spin it around. We're gonna just find the wheels, line them up, and put them on, okay? Well, one thing we have to be careful of, we can't just put them on, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna rub. So what we need, we need some bushings, all right? They kind of like our spacer, so I'm going to put a spacer on there, and then I'm going to put the wheel on, and I can put the wheel on nice and flush. Now it's not going to hit anything, rub anything. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, and we have a standing robot. Okay, we need to run the wires. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is, again, find short wires, all right? We're going to run the driving motors, which are the big motors, okay? These motors first, and we're gonna put them in A and B. A and B, so I'm gonna plug a wire into the back of that one and into the back of that one. So now we need to find A and B, and when I say A and B, the EV3 has one, two, three, four on the back, and A, B, C, D on the front, okay, and then PC. PC is where we plug it into the computer to program. Okay, so I'm gonna take my left drive motor, okay? So if I'm looking at the robot, I'm looking at it this way, okay? It's gonna drive forward, right? Like this, it's gonna drive forward. I have my left drive ro uh, uh, motor over here. So I'm gonna take the wire that's plugged into it in the back, and I'm going to stretch it around front and plug it into A. And then I have my left drive motor, my, or my right drive motor over here, okay? And I'm going to stretch it around and I'm gonna put it into B. Sometimes wires are hard to get, hard to get around and in. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my, the wire that we have hanging out the back here, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to put it into C. If it'll reach, uh-oh. It's not gonna reach. Use a longer wire for that one. And then I'm gonna take a wire out of the bottom of this one, I'm gonna plug a wire into the bottom of this one, and I'm gonna plug it into D on the front. So this one goes to the motor in the back underneath okay so we've got wires coming out of the front and now we have our light sensors that we need to wire and we're going to wire them and they're going to go to ports one and two on the back so grab some wires and do that Okay, now that we have our robot ready to go, it should look like this. It's a tank looking little thing. All right, it is strong, it is sturdy, and it is ready to program.